Yes, yes. Could it be new Max 32 gig? Woo! So if you want to upgrade from Windows Home to Windows Pro or just get insanely cheap Windows and Office 2016 keys, head on down to 0 and 9. Links are in the description and I even have a discount code for you and they also have cheap gaming keys too. To be fair, I was excited. There are new Macs. Uh, I was excited just because of 32 gigs. Like, you know, I've got to get credit where credit's due. Little clap there. Welcome to 2015 Apple, but nevertheless, we have new Macs anyway. So let's have a look. New Macs, new MacBook Pros, should I say. They haven't updated any other Macs. And I was actually going to make a video in the next coming days about the new Mac. They're supposed to be um, refreshing the Mac Mini, um, the iMac, and the MacBook Pro, sorry, not the MacBook Air, the MacBook, the super thin and light one, and they're supposed to be getting rid of the MacBook Air. Anyway, let's have a look at the new Max. Really, it just looks like a spec bump. So if we have a look, maybe we can compare them. I think you can do that if you go in there and we just go to the overview. Of course, we're getting the eighth generation six core parts for the 15 inch and the eighth generation quad core parts for the 13 inch up to 32 gigabytes of RAM for running multiple pro apps. Yeah, I know, 2015, yeah. Thank God they done this. They swallowed their pride and said, all right, we're not gonna wait for the low power DDR4. We're gonna just put a little bit of extra battery in there and give you that 32 gigs. And my man, Daniel Rodriguez, he knows I bang on about this heaps, but, um, you need 32 gigs for pro apps. Like if you've got lots of apps open, you need 32 gigs. If you're just doing basic stuff, no, you don't, of course. Has the touch bar, whatever, don't care. But stunning retina display with True Tone. I have a feeling it's probably the same display. More may come out about this in the next couple of days. I'll try and get one in store tomorrow if I can, and I'll keep you updated and... I'll give you my unboxing, so make sure you subscribe and like, all those sort of things if you want to see, and I will be comparing it to the XPS 15, of course, the Aero 15, etc. So make sure you subscribe for all that good stuff. Now on the surface here, it's 15.5 millimeters for the uh, MacBook Pro 15 inch. The other one was 15 mil. I'm pretty sure it was 15 mil, the other one. So it's a 0.5 thicker, who cares? It's got a bigger battery, right? And that's probably what they needed to put normal DDR4 in there. The 13 inch looks pretty much exactly the same, 14.9, 1.37 kilos and 1.83 kilos for the MacBook Pro 15 inch. With great power comes great capability. Up to 10 hours battery life, awesome SSDs. They always had awesome SSDs, these Macs. And they've pretty much addressed everything I wanted them to do with the Mac. I'm not sure about the display, if it's the same display. It was a good display anyway, but, you know, other, you know, manufacturers have made even better displays again. So maybe they're lagging behind. Maybe it is a new display. We'll have to wait and see, but it is True Tone, and I really do like that. If you've ever used an iPhone and used True Tone, it really is good for different lighting conditions. It will adjust the display, so you always have the correct color in front of you. Uh, coding, video editing, it's just basically saying what you can do with these six cores in the 15 inch and the four cores you get in the 13 inch. Okay, i9, yes, there we go. And by the way, I haven't looked at this. I'm looking at this with you right now. So actually I should go to the US store because um, it'll make more sense in terms of prices. If we go back to the measurements, your four pounds, 15 point mile. Hey, 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 have a look at that. Fantastic. American website with millimeters. I love it. Come on, let's get on the mills. Let's get on the metric. All right, now what else we got? Um, I-9, up to I-9. That sounds awesome. But given how hot these Macs run, I'm not sure. Um, we'll have to wait to see if they've made any improvements with the thermals. They may have. We'll find out tomorrow, hopefully, if the thermals have been improved. But um, my guess is probably not. So you're probably wasting your money with an i9. Although you will get that super fast burst speeds of the i9. So run more, wait less. Okay, 
For faster performance when working with large files or running multiple Pro apps or virtual machines, the 15-inch MacBook Pro can now be configured with 32 gigabytes of high-performance 2400. Oh, Apple, they had to do it. 2,600 is the standard now. All right, 2,004. It's not going to make a difference. 2,400 DDR memory. All right, it's 2x performance, apparently, faster than 16 gig. Hello, I've been saying that since 2015, like, and people are like, what do you need 32 gigs for? Like, try running, like, five apps open at once, Premiere Pro, you know, After Effects, Audition, Photoshop. 16 gig? Are you kidding me? All right, so MacBook Pro comes with discrete graphics card. This is the thing that really disappointed me. I have to give Apple a thumbs up for everything bar this, like the same graphics card. If they would have put like a Vega graphics card in there, not that there is one, but, you know, I was really hoping they could put a Vega graphics card because the 560 is a little bit weak. It is four gigabytes, so it'll be optimised. So if you use Mac apps, it'll be okay, but probably thinking it won't be great in Premiere Pro. But remember, Premiere Pro has had an update, so the rendering might be really fast now. I'll be very interested to see. Of course, you can use external GPU, black magic, blah, 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 whatever. All right, T2 chip, that's just for the Touch ID and all that crap, who cares? Um, SSD storage, yep, it's fast. It always has been great. Yeah, all Thunderbolt. <laughs> 16 lanes of PCI Express they have, and they used all of them for four Thunderbolts there, Thunderbolt 3. So if you like that or you don't, that is what it is, whatever. I'm used to it now, so who cares? So if you just look at the display here, we're saying 500 nits of brightness, 24%, 25% more colours than sRGB. Okay, that tells me that it's probably the same display with just true tone technology baked in there. Okay, we have the quad cores in the 13-inch, fantastic, liking that, but limited to 16 gigs, and it will probably be DDR3, but you are getting the 28 watt processor, but no discrete graphics, of course. Uh, what do we got for battery life is pretty much the same, but as you see here on the 15 inch, 83 watt hours. So the battery is bigger. Can't remember offhand how big the battery was. I think it is actually bigger on this too. Yeah, I think it was 56. From memory, I don't know. Can't remember. <laughs> too many laptops I've looked at. So that's fantastic. Now let's have a look at the prices. I'm going to look at the 15 inch. I'm going to wrap this video up pretty quick. All right, so I want a 15 inch XPS 15. I had a terabyte SSD, 32 gigs RAM. All right, so terabyte SSD I had, and I had an i9 as well. So I guess that's the i9 there. Okay, i9 and 32 gigs RAM. And that cost me 4,000 Australian, which was like, I think they were 3,000 in the US, something like that. So i9, 32 gigs RAM, one terabyte, you're paying an extra 900 for the Apple. Wow. That's a phone, man. That's a phone. That's a holiday. I reckon you could get a holiday hotel, weekend away or whatever for 900 bucks US. This is, that's like 1,300 Australian. I don't know where they get these prices from. It's just, it's almost insulting at the moment. It's just crazy prices. But um, if you're happy to pay them, go ahead and pay it. I'll see. I'll suffer the pain and try and get one tomorrow. We'll see how we go. Anyway, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Stay tuned for more content. Tally ho.